people that will come up with solutions for this chronic illness. You need to give yourself some, you know, some hope in case you're facing chronic illness. Don't be so tough on yourself. You need your mind for you to heal. We overcame COVID. Yes, we did. You do not believe me? Where is COVID today? <clears throat> we overcame it. There was something called herd immunity. We need to create some kind of herd immunity for mental health issues. We need to be fit for our cities. You know, health problems can be dealt with. Is it bogging you down? Are you having pain in your body? Stretch yourself a bit. The pain can go. What amount of painkillers are we taking as a country? At the end of this year, 2023, let somebody count the number of trailers and, you know, loaders we have taken, containers upon containers of painkillers. Yeah, we need to take away our pain. What is it that is bringing pain to us as a society? Fear is painful. Fear of tomorrow, fear of the unknown. It is very painful. Broken homes. You know, we need safe and stable homes for our mental fitness. Are you listening to me, mamas? Are you listening to me, daddies? Leaders of families, understand your role as a father. Understand your role as a mother. Because safe and stable homes create a mentally health society. Don't come into your home depressed, you know, downcasted. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. You know, don't come into your home with a negative mindset. Do away with negativity. Negativity is related to falsehood. Negativity is related to lies and lack of truth in life. Negativity is related to uh, relative truths. There are truths that are not absolute about you. You are perfect. There are people that are trying to say you, to define you. You know, as you're on your way to your house, to your home, there are people ambushing your mind, trying to bring you down. Shake it off. It is not worth the war. Do not fight the small stuff. Do not sweat the small stuff. As long as it is not affecting your destiny, why think about it? Why meditate about it? You need to be mindful of your future. Mindfulness is key. And that is why I advocate for quiet environments. By the way, noise pollutes your environments. Did you know that? Noise pollutes stable environments it is important for you sometimes to fight for quiet environments you know when you're around honking when you're around loud music when you're around negative social media uh, content when you're around when you're around uh, naysaying hate that those are noises that pollute your mental fitness you need your quiet time to sift through the lies of life. You know, the things that cheat you about who you are. Demystify deception. Demystify controllers of your destiny. Demystify it. You need to be having a discernful mind. See through people. See through conversations. Be humble enough not to fight for yourself. Let nature fight for you. Let God fight for you. Why walk around vengeful and revengeful? It will make you weak. Trust you me. A vengeful man or woman is a weak person. People of strength do not fight back. No. People of strength leaves it to God to fight for them. Leaves it to nature to fight for them. You do not have to fight for yourself. Leave it. Leave it. There are reasonable enough people to see what is happening. Eight billion people cannot be cheated about your destiny. You may be living in a country that has 10 million people. 
50 million people, 100 million people that may be trying to pull you down. But there are 8 billion people in other countries that are ready to celebrate you. Why not open up yourself? Open up your space. The world is big. We are in a global village. Come on. There is somebody that will celebrate you. If the, the 10 million people cannot celebrate you in your county, there are people in other counties that are ready to celebrate you. Somebody in Turkana will celebrate you from Isiolo. Somebody from Taita will celebrate you. If people in Lamu are not celebrating you, there is somebody in Bungoma or in Kajiado. There is somebody in Congo, somebody in Senegal. There is somebody in the Ivory Coast that needs you. Yes, people say your, your, your ministry or your work or what you're doing is not good for them. There are people that need it. Yeah, trust you me. There are people that find your work relevant, that find you relevant. Find a space for yourself. Do not force yourself in a place where you feel a lot of negativity. Look for space where you will find relevance. Relevant in life is key. It is where your environment is. What is the use of a fish fighting for space on land? It will die. Fish cannot survive on land. Come on, did you know that? Fish will never survive on land. It is just a matter of minutes and it will be dead. Why fight in an environment that is not yours? You know, crocodiles can operate in both environments. Look for a place where you are able to operate in. Why should you as a lion fight to operate inside water? No, you are meant to be on land. There is an environment created, designed for you design your environment and that is why you need to take advantage of talents that you have you have music why don't you play music that will keep your mind happy are you downcast put down some music now you need to dance through life come on why are you walking through life depressed downcasted you need to dance through life life is for you Life is good. Life is short. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Why, why are you letting your, your time pass? Just passing. Put some life into your time. Put some life into your time. You know, you may be having a watch, but you have no time. Blessed are the people with no watches, but with a lot of time. Look for time to celebrate you. Celebrate you celebrate who you are take yourself out test good food come on get into some aircraft take a flight get into some vehicle take yourself for a drive you do not know what it means to give yourself a treat treat yourself come on life is for you mental fitness demands that you enjoy life you know, humanity looks for comfort. Trust you me. When humanity is uncomfortable, that is when we have mental health issues. Clean your environment. Make your bathroom clean. Wash your toilet. Bend. Wash it. Keep yourself busy to clean your environment. Clean your sitting room. Clean your bedroom. Make sure your home has good smell. And if you're a leader of a city, Please, make sure that there is proper sanitation in your city. Don't go shouting. Don't go talking about mental health. And your city is dirty. Mental health is, proper, is directly related to sanitation of cities. Dirty cities have mentally ill people. Dirty cities have people who are depressed. People losing hope. Why not clean up cities for people? Make the streets clean. Light up the cities. Turn on the light of your life. Turn on the light of your soul. Put on the light to your life. Something is dimming your life. Shine. 
if there is somebody that does not want you to shine, encourage them to put on goggles because you have no choice but to shine. Bring out your talents. Bring out your skills. Operate. Fully operate. You know, go out to work and work, work, work. Go an extra mile in your workplace. Give your employers and your business no reason why they should not celebrate you for being part of your job. Celebrate your work. Give yourself to your job, to your business. Remember, I'm talking about working. I'm not talking about employment. I'm talking about working. Because the moment I talk about employment, there are people that will tell me they are not employed. But you have time. You can get out and do something. Give yourself to somebody. You know, if you, cannot, uh, if you do not have a job, get out there and just give out to the community. Find something to do. That is how to be happy. Work. And this is not being sarcastic. It's good for the soul. There is a movie where somebody brought that statement negatively. So I'm bringing it in a positive manner. When you find your purpose, you are happy. People without a purpose are sad people, especially men. When men learned their purpose for life, you know, the world almost falls at its feet. Even women, when you discover your purpose for life, I'm telling you, nothing can stop you. Nothing can make you sad. That is when you start waking up at 3 o'clock. I woke up today very early into prayer and just started praying. Because I discovered that my purpose in life is related to God and to prayer. And just to celebrate people and to celebrate family and to celebrate nations. I enjoy talking to you. I woke up for you. I came to this studio for you. I am alive for you. Be alive for somebody. Oh, how I enjoy motivating people. Why don't you look for something to do that will make you happy? That is how to be mentally fit for life. Discover your purpose for life. Do not sweat the small stuff of life. Just discover your purpose for life. You are not perfect. You are not. But in your imperfection, you're perfect. You are meant for the game. Don't fight for perfection every day. Don't fight for the right things every day. Just find space in the way things are. Look for, for it. You should be able to drive through the rain, through, through darkness, through the sunshine. Drive your vehicle, drive you, drive your life. When, a, when an airplane leaves the Heathrow Airport and, and takes off for New York or for Nairobi, you know, when that aircraft takes off, despite the storms in the air, that, storm, that, that plane has to land. Believe you me, in the same manner, God has fashioned you to learn. You have a destiny to carry. Don't carry yourself carelessly. Take care of yourself. You love yourself. Life is there for you. You have to learn. You have to fly high. Come on, start flying now. Angels are light because they take things lightly. Why carry unforgiveness in your heart? You need to fly. Why carry history, heavy history in your heart? You need to fly. It happened. So what? You are alive today. You know, a live dog is better than a dead lion. You are alive today. Yeah, you may be in pain, but you are alive. Take some bit of painkillers if you can. Breathe in. Breathe, breathe in deeply. Enjoy the air that God has given you. Breathe in. You're alive. You're alive. Take time to feel the breath of life. Take time to just feel the fresh air. Stable. Ah, stable homes are related to mental health. Work hard to ensure that you have a stable home. If you need housing, work hard. 
do something to have proper housing. And I'm encouraging the people in leaderships. Work towards proper housing. Do not let the masses live in unsecure housing. You know, secure tenure of land is related to mental health. If you want a mentally health society, work to a, towards secure land tenure and secure housing. This is how we move from a third world nation to a second world nation and to a first world nation. Proper mindsets, proper sanitation in our cities, stable and secure homes. These things are key mindfulness be mindful of the places that you've been given to work or to serve in be the proper steward of your children be the proper steward of your company steward it properly steward your nation properly the places that you've been privileged to lead steward it well just feel the breath of life listen to the singing of the birds in the air Smell the flowers. Take time to listen to the music. Take time to enjoy the talents around you. Take time to enjoy the people around you. There are beautiful people. Just do away with the things that you are seeing in them. Put away the negativity. Put it in the back burner. Start looking at people with the mind of Christ. You will be shocked at the beauty in people. You will be shocked at what they have to give. Remember, for more love, start giving love now. This is the Treasures of Life show. We are talking about designing environments for mental fitness. See you after the break. <laughs>